lifesaver, Dr. Smith. Have we met? No, we haven't. Not yet. I'm Jenny Thompson, Allison Thompson's sister. Oh, nice to meet you. I finally get to meet THE Robert Smith. It's an honor, sir. I'm humble. I don't know how to spoke of me, much less highly. Don't act so surprised. A lot of people look up to you. She says you should laugh more. Wow, she wasn't kidding. You are a tough cookie. You take yourself too seriously. Life and death is no laughing matter. You're not at the hospital. You can stop acting tough. Excuse me. Robert, you need to let your daughter go. With all due respect, Miss Thompson, that's none of your business. Why are you here, Dr. Smith? I need to get these papers signed so I can start Allison's chemotherapy at St. Paul's. Our family's insurance doesn't cover her chemotherapy. I know. I'm paying for it. Just sign the papers. I had cancer. Well, when I was three, I was diagnosed with acute leukemia. My parents freaked out. My dad and mom had to pick up extra shifts at work to pay for my hospital visits and my treatments. They prayed until they were blue in the face. And then when I turned six, I went into remission. I know, a miracle, right? But when Allison was born, she was the miracle. Came two months early. Talk about a strong-headed will. She wasn't supposed to survive. But she did. And she's here. And I'm closer to her than I am to anyone else in the world. Our family went on vacation to the Gulf of Mexico. Alice and I were away from our parents collecting seashells on the beach when she had her first diabetic seizure. We found out she had chronic leukemia. The doctor said she'd be lucky if she made it through the month. That was a year and a half ago. Why are you telling me this? Because I blamed myself for being healed. I couldn't understand why someone 20,000 times more deserving of healing than me was gonna wasn't going to be able to get married or hold her children or be there for her sister who needed fashion tips or advice about boys. God's smarter than us and he's got a plan but he needs you to do something for him. Trust him. That's the biggest test, isn't it? Are you gonna trust him or aren't you? I guess you need some faith in order to do that, huh? There was a park on the beach with a swing set, the place my family visited before everything got complicated. Allison always talks about how she wants to go back and swing on that swing set to go back to the place where she felt that peace, that indescribable peace that was more real than any other memory. Dr. Smith, Allison's pretty blessed to have as good of a listener as you in her life, as a doctor and as a friend. I think that's all part of the plan too. God's plan, right? Allison was right. You are a good listener. <laughs>